hi friend here we are going to solve the problem of the probability in previous videos we solved the problems related to the die related to the uh, coins right and many right so now in this video we are going something uh, uh, something different right uh, the let me read the record of the weather station shows that out of the past 250 consecutive days its weather forecast were correct 175 times then we have to find out the two questions answers what is the probability that on a given day it was correct in a given day it was correct right and what is the probability that it was not correct on a given day right on a given day so uh, simply there were uh, we, we, we did an experiment you can say uh, with the weather forecast right for the 250 days right in out of 250 days what we get the result that 175 times they were true and rest of this one that is 250 minus 175 right so we'll get uh, uh, around we'll get 75 right 75 times they were false they were incorrect right so here uh, we have to find out the probability that uh, in, a pr uh, in a certain day whatever a day you just uh, just you just uh, tried right and whether they are true or false so you're going to find out the probability in a certain day right in a certain day whether they are true or false that day means their prediction their forecast is going to be true true or false that probability we have to find out here in this problems right so let me do one by one right first first condition uh, the probability probability that uh, their forecast will be true will be correct right their forecast will be correct and as we are learning since uh, very long that the probability of uh, finding anything if you want to find out the probability of anything that what are the total favorable events total favorable outcomes in the favor of that right and divided by the whole uh, trials or whole uh, experiments right so in there there are 175 times they were correct right so first let me write the uh, formula uh, that uh, how many times they become the uh, uh, means correct uh, how many times their predict, uh, prediction becomes the correct so now I'm simply writing number of days uh, when the forecast when the forecast right when the forecast was correct whole divided by total number of days for which for which the record is available the record records are available or is available right records is available right uh, record is available so now simply the number of days when the forecast was correct so how many days the forecast was correct that was 175 days the forecast was right right so 175 days whole divided by total number of days for which the records is available so for how many days are records available for 250 days are records available so it will be 250 right so this is exactly our probability uh, in a particular day uh, whether uh, their uh, prediction or their forecast will be true or not there will be correct or not that will be correct or not so you can cut this right simply so uh, if you cut this by 25 uh, sabanja and 25 tenza right so you get 7 upon 10 right and if you run to write this in the decimal form it will be 0 upon 7 and if you write in the, the percent form then simply what you have to do you have to multiply by the hundred percent then you'll get this zero and zero cancel out so you'll get seventy uh, percent seventy to t uh, ten that will be seventy percent right so their prediction is seventy percent uh, right you can say so the probability of getting correct forecast 
is 70%. Now in the second question we have to find out uh, that what is the probability in the particular day their prediction will be incorrect, right? What is the probability that their prediction is incorrect? So probability, probability, their prediction becomes incorrect, right? Their forecast become incorrect. So for this, uh, as uh, we, we we did here, that in out of 250 days when we experimented for the regularly consecutively 250 days, 175 days uh, days they were correct, but 75 days they were incorrect, right? So simply I'm writing here, probability of incorrect is uh, number of days, number of days, right? Number of days. Here, when forecast, when the forecast, forecast, I'm just writing in short form, forecast was incorrect, whole divided by total, right, number of days for which record is available, for which record is available available right so yeah what we're going to write mm, number of days for which the forecast was incorrect and as per the question for the 75 days the forecast uh, was incorrect and the total number of days for which the records was available and we did this experiment of recording these all uh, uh, this forecast is for 250 days we tried this right so this is our probability that in certain day the forecast will be incorrect so if you want to solve this simply by 25 3 ja and 25 10 ja right so you will get 3 divided by 10 in fraction this is the probability of uh, getting incorrect prediction right or if you want to write in the decimal form it will be 0 0.3 pro uh, 0 0.3 only and if you want to write in the percent form then it will be 30 percent uh, it will be 30 percent right so the probability that they will be incorrect is 30 percent and the probability that uh, their forecast will be correct is 70 percent right so here what we get overall that total probability uh, is again probability of correct and probability of incorrect that's 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 that is 1 or if you want to go in the percent form and uh, you'll get the same again that is 70% plus 30% that's 100% right so keep these things that always and always probability is 1 always and always it cannot be greater than 1 and cannot be less than 0 so it always varies between 0 and 1 right so and uh, if you go in the percent then it will be either uh, I mean between 0 to 100 percent right so I hope uh, you understand this question and like this you can solve a lot of problem uh, yeah, you can see uh, below this uh, if you're watching through my blog uh, below you may see lots of problem related to the probability and try to solve those all problems right it will really help you the next video will be doing a little bit different problem and after doing some problems we'll be going for the next level of the probability in that we'll be uh, doing the probability in theoretical approach right right now we are doing some experimental approach in probability right there we'll be doing in theoretical way so we'll be meeting the next video with a different type of problem with a different test bye bye